Thanks all for coming to Yagle Country. Um, I'd like to thank Bivable especially, Fire Law for coming down this way. I'd like to thank Nigel and the local land services team for coming in today to help out and for the help for the last couple of months. Uh, the fireys, of course, thank yous and welcome to country. Today we're here to talk about you know, fire law or cultural burning or burning country or healing country. Um, the corporation has been working with um, local land services for the past 12 months, it's planning fire management plan for a TSR that was funded by um, Environmental Trust. So this is one of probably many burnings that we'll be doing across Yagle country. Burning's based around more or less a pre-plan for bushfire management hazard reduction. We allow for the animals um, to escape. We, we create patch burning or spot burning so the animals can go out and come back. Clear round bases of old growth areas and also, you know, protect the values of, of, of uh, the conservation areas. So you buffer zone those areas to make way for the fire to go through. But also fire can play a big part in, in um, weed management and control and eradication. All that stuff is to help sort of rejuvenate the soil as well. So healthy soil, healthy people and healthy culture. What we've got to do from here is say, well, how do we plan to maintain and keep our culture for our future generations? So this is what fire management or cultural burning is about, you know, and it's L-O-R-E, it's not L-A-W. We've got this land management team now and we're looking at putting another six more young people on and. And that's a good thing because, you know, they're hearing the stories of what the, the senior team and the junior team has already been doing out in this bush. And it's great because they all want to jump on board and say, and learn about how do, how do we do it out and, and restore our land and fix our native bushes up, get them back regenerated, bring our native animals back and hopefully they can care for the country more better and have a better understanding and hopefully we could do our traditional huntings and whatnot out here and hopefully the more they have better understanding about the bush, the better it is. What I plan to get out of today is to learn how to successfully burn country properly and get traditions, traditional knowledge back onto country. In light of recent events such as the 2019 fires which hit uh, the Clarence Valley pretty hard. We thought there has to be a better way of fighting fires. The amount of animals that we lost that year was really bad. This year we've been doing a lot just to fix up what happened in 2019. Um, we've put out nest boxes, done a lot of projects with cleaning up country and yeah just really wanted to burn at the right times for country so that it can heal itself. My name's Rob Williams, I'm from the Githable tribe up near um, Mully and I'm down here on Yagle country, been invited by the Yagle tribe to come down and do the cultural burn. Today we can see that it's a nice steady burn that's going to go nowhere. We're here to share that what we have and it's been handed down from generation after generation. One of the laws of the burn is not to bend the top. That stays. You're breaking law straight up if you burn that. Very, very important that you keep that top clear. So when the smoke goes up, it just clears it. It just cleans it. Bottom line, it's just so simple. So simple. Fire law is here to remind everybody how everybody's a part of this and trying to fix country again and bring country back to the way it was meant to be. A lot of the ecosystems have changed. Weeds have come in, different grasses have come in, and also invasive natives, what we call invasive natives, is which what we call breaking law. That's what we call law. Um, you've got other ecosystems coming in, creeping into other ecosystems, which takes over other stuff and other animals can't survive anymore in these sort of places. If we get the Jaeger mob up to where we need them to be looking after country, they can also start working with all the farmers and 
also the town ships as well and then everybody becomes to work together again that's what it's all about and that's what i love about this journey to most how it's bringing everybody together the beauty in cultural burning is it restores a lot of the natural grasses that's meant to be here and brings back some of the native animals that's meant to be here from a, from my hazard reduction perspective there should be more of this i can see if this happened every year well there'd be no hazard there'd be no hazard at all and we wouldn't be out for weeks on end and days on end in you know life-threatening situations whereas there's no risk in doing what we're doing now this is part of uh, an ongoing effort to get the traditional owners more involved in the uh, management of the travelling stock reserve network and uh, to carry out or return cultural activities to this part of the country. So we're undertaking a cultural burn, which will be hopefully one of many that happens on Yagel country from here on in. I can tell you as a kid, I was a bit of a firebug. I lived down Nari village and uh, burning the bidu bush down there on the weekends was our little bit of fun as children. And uh, yeah, it wasn't cultural burns, it was just being little Mooga kids. And yeah, so to actually do this the proper way and actually being taught by elders how to burn the country properly instead of just being little Moogas and making bushfires, actually burning it properly and culturally respectfully. I think today is a really good opportunity for knowledge sharing uh, and just an opportunity to experience and share why we're here, what we're doing and, and how we can heal country together. It's a very respectful practice. It's, they're talking about the insects and the birds um, and, and, the and the shrubs and the trees all the time. That seems to be at the forefront of the conversation. It's not about fuel and hazard and risk. It's about health. Like cleaning your house. You need a broom to clean your house. We use a fire out here in the country and it's just cleaning home. So it makes it a lot more manageable for us. The way, the way me, me and my brothers and my family see it, we, we don't see it as just our country anymore. It's everybody's country now. We've, we've got to learn to live together and, and coexist together. And why not share knowledge to maintain mother and to give us a better better fighting chance for our next generations to come up and and see the beauties that we grew up with. We were, um, we were actually in partnership with a group called um, NDRI, Natural Design and Research Institution, which backs a lot of our cultural information up with the science side of stuff as well. So when I tried to first bring fire back to country before I met these guys, they thought we were just lighting fires and waiting for the animals to come running out. But it's more than that, it's more than that. And it was just hard to explain it from a cultural perspective without the science to back it up. I think the biggest thing that we to do through fire law is that trying to remind the human race how we're all a part of this. We are the fastest adapting creatures on the planet, but we are the fastest to forget as well. So fire law just here to remind. We're just here to remind everybody about country and how important it really is. The most important and key thing is that we work together, black fellas and white people working together the to do and to protect and look after country. And country then will look after us at the end of the day. Mm.